All right, we got the Skidoo 850 with the Bikeman 911, uh, full pipe on the dyno. So we'll show you what it does uh, on the first run. Uh, the engine temp right now is 107 degrees. Uh, pipe is fairly cold and we'll show you what it does as it goes from uh, cold to hot. But it'll uh, make well over 200 horsepower. First run on a cold pipe. Uh, we're sitting at like 208.3, uh, and you can see our uh, AFR is 13.0 to 13.28. Uh, uh, peak horsepower on the cold run was 77.50. That RPM will come up as the pipe gets hotter. So engine right now is 109 degrees. And you can see on this one, the RPM definitely moved, shifted uh, higher. And that one we made 208.3 on the second run so or it's not giving anything up on the on the second run as the pipe gets hotter uh, air inlet in the room is uh, 32 degrees so you know a normal uh, sunny day on the mountain uh, we have 140 foot pounds of torque pretty killer torque and uh, air density is sitting at uh, 0.077 right now some of you guys like to like to know that stuff. I can show you what uh, the correction is today. So right now we're only about uh, one to two percent uh, correction of a zero. So that's uh, pretty good. So let's uh, let's go into the next run here. like the third run almost will lay right over uh, what that second run did so we're at 282 uh, at 80 or 7850 uh, peak torque happened at uh, 7800 uh, this is a, uh, a high torque motor we're making 140 foot pounds of torque which is uh, unreal and it's gonna feel amazing every time you hit the throttle so we can uh, you know, definitely say that this thing's making some smoke. Third run, uh, we're still at 13.0, uh, and even even a lower than like 12.75 uh, for AFR, and then you know at peak power we're at 13.0, uh, so it's uh, you know a nice stable spot to be. And on that run, uh, another 207.6. Uh, this thing is just an animal. So I don't know if you've ever. Uh, driven a stock 850 but a stock 850 is 170 horse uh, stock 850s are pretty strong this thing is amazing it's like having boost but uh, having the response of a naturally aspirated two stroke
that's where she settles out when the, when the pipe gets hot. I mean, that's five runs into it. I can show you uh, the last two runs. If we lay them over the top of each other, you'll barely be able to see the, the other line. And, uh, I mean, we're right there. You know, same same horsepower, same same everything. That was 207.2, right, 13.0. 04 AFR, a nice stable spot for these uh, uh, direct inject slash auxiliary injector engines. Uh, you can see on here uh, torque, torque still 139.3 at 77.50 and peak horsepower at 78.50. So That's uh, the Bike Band 911 kit. I can lay all the runs on here so you can see what they do from uh, uh, first colder run to, that's the first colder run, the red one there. Uh, they'll change colors as we get them on here and I'll explain what, what they are. So, and this is 61 runs into uh, on this engine we did a lot of break in on it we did two hours of break in on it before we even started hammering on it and uh, it's been a, a real real stable engine package all right so last one we got to add here so there so you can see the cold run makes uh, killer torque because the pipe's cold uh, but then we can actually like zoom in like right here and see that it, it definitely follows a, a trend uh, you know until the pipe gets really hot <clears throat> it, it makes a little bit more so we're at like 2083 and then it drops down to the, the 207 so for all you guys with 911s with the bikeman pipe uh, and this is with the the two inch outlet if you're up at higher elevation uh, that inch and seven eighths outlet is going to be what you want but and uh, at our elevation here, you want to run the, the two inch and about 6,000 and up, then I would switch to that inch and seven eighths. So, I mean, you, your uh, goal RPM here, 7850. Uh, if you're on 7850, you're, you're, you're on the power. If you're at 8,000, uh, you're giving up quite a bit. So, I mean, you're still making 200 horse, so you're not giving up that much, but. Uh, you know, compared to what you could be, uh, 7850 is where you want to be. So, over and out, Joey Strew, Bike Band Performance. Check out this kit and all of our other kits for Skidoo, Articat, Polaris, and Yamaha models at bikebandperformance.com. All right, let me show you how to navigate to this kit if you want to buy it. So, basically, go to Sled, down to Skidoo. Uh, 850 E-Tech, click on that, and then uh, right here is the kit that we were doing, uh, the ski Eight E-Tech 850 Ultimate 911 Big Board Kit. Uh, you'll notice that this is an amazing price for this amount of horsepower, $3,100, and it comes with everything you need. It comes with clutching, comes with uh, big bore, porting, plating, uh, modified head, pipe, Y pipe, uh, fuel controller. If you want to add a muffler on it, uh, we got a, a few different op options for you. We got the munchie, we got the full velocity, we have the uh, powder light, and those are all go in conjunction with this and work just the same. So uh, go check it out.